American Wonder Kid Kevin Sullivan to Manchester City. Here we go. We heard this uh, a lot in the last couple of months, to be honest with you. But this time around, it's confirmed. It's official from Fabrizio Romano. And it's always a pleasure to see an American kid making it to the next level. Because Manchester City are the next level. But he's 14 years old. He's a kid. All right? So you never know at that age how good or bad you're going to be when you grow up. But every metric, every indication is telling us that this guy is the next big thing in America. Deal agreed as revealed weeks ago. Yes, that's what I just said. And now all the documents being signed with Philadelphia Union. Fee close to 1 million plus many add-ons. So let's say if he makes it to the first team, win the Premier League, win the Champions League, the Ballon d'Or, they're going to keep on paying. He was born in 2009. I feel very old right now. And um, he's going to join Manchester City in the next years. I don't know... Uh, if he can really move to England without his parents. I think it's against the FIFA regulations. You have to be 18. But it might be something special between England and the USA. You know, some kind of treaty. Some kind of... Um, I don't know. The parent might get a job over there and move to England. I don't know. He might move sooner. Because if they have to wait... It's four years from now for him to get there. So, what do you think? Do you know him? He's a kid that I watched a lot of videos lately because of uh, because of uh, the the link to Manchester City, and I watched uh, some games with uh, the U.S. national team. He won uh, one of the tournament with the national team last. Uh, Last year, he was the golden boot. And uh, he looks really, like, very promising. And like I said, at 14 years, you don't know how you're going to be. You have to stay a kid. Stay in school. <laughs> you know what I mean? Stay in school. Stay a kid. Because now, the world is in your hand. Girls... Everybody want to call you and congratulate you. Everybody want to be with you. It's a problem, all right? So the parents need to be careful and allow the kids to grow normally. Manchester City label is big, and that can go through your head. You look at trainings. You look at games. You look at the type of goals that he's scoring. Amazing. He's the, you know, definition of wonder kid. Because so many kids now, if you score in training, you are a wonder kid. You are the next Messi, Ronaldo, whatever. But this kid, if you watch him, you said he plays way over his age. And guess what? He made his debut with Philadelphia Union. Not the first team. Let's call it the B team. The team, uh, let's say Premier League 2. The development squad slash academy, you know. So he played in that kind of team, right? And he had an assist. So it's just like playing with men already. A kid, 14 years old, having an assist, playing with grown-up men. That tells you the level. And I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy to see like the kid given a chance in the, in, the, in the top level. But you have to always be careful and let the kid grow normally. Don't break him too quickly. But also don't wait too much like Chelsea Football Club. You find a 23 years old who's still in the academy because they don't give him a chance <laughs> in the first team. But they are amazing, amazing players. Here we go. Welcome, welcome to the Premier League, Mr. Kevin. It's going to take time, though. 
even if he his parent moved to England, I think it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be difficult for him to make it to the first team. He's gonna play for, with for the kid, you know, in his age, the age group, you know, in the academy, and yeah three or four years from now you can you can think about him having the first team debut or something but right now it's just vibes 14 years old kevin sullivan made his professional debut for philadelphia union second team yesterday blah blah that was march the 25th craziest thing is that he got an assist too one of the most exciting talent coming out of America right now. Born in 2009. Manchester City have already agreed to sign him. This is the future of, of football, my friends. You have to detect talent very, very early on. Manchester City are doing it. Chelsea are doing it. And many, many other teams have been doing it for years. Especially German uh, German teams you know they took Pulisic when he was like 15 years old they coming to the MLS detect talent and then bring them to Germany now you don't have to spend 1 billion on players you can just focus on recruitment very good scouting and you're gonna find those germs before they become Jude Bellingham or Erling Haaland, you, de you detect them very young and you save money. You develop them and they play in the first team. So, I don't know if this is a very, is a very like, good decision for him. Financially, yes. For Philadelphia Union and also for the kid because I think he's, he's going to have a lot of money already paid by Manchester City regardless of the level he will be playing. But in terms of developing your football, Germany is the king. You go to Borussia Dortmund, you go to Leipzig, you go to whatever team it is, they're going to give you time. They're going to give you time to play with the men. They're not going to throw you in the academy and, and kill your confidence over there. You are good enough, you are old enough to play in the first team. That the way it's supposed to be. And don't sign for Chelsea because Chelsea are gonna kill you. Look at how many youngsters they, they bought in the last uh, couple of windows. All of them loaned out or stuck in the academy, not even a minute in the first team. So Chelsea are the worst decision that you can make as a young player at the moment. I hope they change because if Yamal Lamin Yamal was coming through Chelsea Academy. He was never going to make it. He was going to, to be killed, you know? <laughs> Confidence gone. But look at him now. Hendrik killing it at 17 years old. So, congratulations to Kevin Sullivan. And keep your head down. Good things will happen to you. And Viva USA, USA, USA.